this doesn't look sketchy at all, does it? That is uh, that is the stand to a giant fish tank. I'm in Cincinnati right now. I just picked up that stand. Just give you guys a little sneak peek, a little, a little sneak peek to all the stuff that's in there. Bought a giant fish tank. So the first and most important step in all this is getting all this precious cargo 300 miles to Chicago, then unboxing it a little bit, even though it's not really in a box, setting it up and showing you guys exactly what the hell I just bought. All right, guys, we have stopped at the first rest stop to kind of check on uh, the stand. The rain's kind of starting, which sucks, but there's nothing we can do about that. And my fear is coming true. This $30 heavy-duty tarp from Walmart sucks. It's ripped all over the place already. It is not, like, it is, it's flapping around everywhere. I had it pinned under the stand with these bars, but it just ripped out. And I haven't been going fast. I've been trying to go only 60 miles an hour. And it's like there's just rips all over it. So I got to try to figure out a way to resecure this because it's going to rain a lot heavier coming up. And I don't want to get this wood wet because the last thing I want is to put the tank on the stand, fill it with water, and then have the stand break because it was water damaged. Mileage wise, I'm about halfway home to Chicago. I just stopped off a highway. I'm on an on ramp now to check the tarp. Um, That's not good. Can't wait to see what this looks like. All right, that side's fine. It didn't really rain that bad. That side's fine. The back's not the best. Uh, yeah. Heavy duty tarp. I'm just gonna have to roll with it. How's the front look? Front looks fine. Ratchet straps are good. The stand's sure as hell not going anywhere. It's just, it's waterproof capabilities are kind of shot. We keep going. We move onward. We're halfway there. It needs to get home. Who knows if there'll be a tarp when I get home, but at least the stand will still be there. All right, guys, here we are. Here it is. I just got home. We made it. We made the five and a half hour drive home. How this tarp is going to look is about as much of a surprise to me as it's going to be for you guys. Okay, this side's not that bad. It's, it, ugh, it just, heavy duty tarp from Walmart, it wasn't very heavy duty. Honestly, the stand, like, ooh, that wasn't like that. <laughs> the, the stand looks fine, honestly. I was concerned that maybe the stand wouldn't make it. It didn't really get rained on that bad. That was really the thing I was concerned about. That's why I bought this tarp, but tarp got wrecked tarp got absolutely wrecked the inside of it looked good none of those tiles are cracked at all nothing really fell apart we, we're, we might be good to go can't believe it that thing is light what's in here not light so i don't know when i'm going to be able to take the actual tank out of my car because it's 450 pounds somehow me and sturgeon guy sam dice got it in my car big shouts out to sam for helping me with that because no way I would have done that by myself. It took all that me and Sam had just to get that in the car. So just to start off, I haven't eaten today, so I'm gonna eat my lunch, and then I'm gonna start putting the supplies in the house to try to get the tank set up. Well, not really the tank set up, but all the supplies set up, the stand, everything like that, so the tank is just ready to be brought in and then ready to be set up. Bell, I'm back. Bella, we're getting even more pets. While she's walking around there, you guys want an update on Bear Grylls and the other tiny little bluegill, don't you? That door's gonna be locked. Oh, Bear Grylls is excited. How you doing, bud? Bear Grylls, my parents have been telling me that you've been thriving. And also you, look at this guy used to hide. He is stoked. The little guy used to always hide under the log. He is so excited. Look at this. Oh. Let me, let me feed him. I haven't fed him in a week. This is my pet, and I haven't been the one feeding him. I've been a negligent owner. This is a tiny little red worm. Oh my, he is so excited. He's got, he's got this no problem. Look at him. 
He is so happy. This bluegill has adjusted to this 55 gallon just so well. I'm amazed. The little guy too. We're, we need to give you some blood worms. Just kidding. Blood worms are still frozen. You guys have seen him eat the blood worms. It's not too exciting. Not as exciting as seeing the big bluegill go frantic and chase a worm. Let's drop three in there and see how long it takes him to eat it. Oh, he loves it. Look at right back for more. <laughs> right back for more. I'm so happy these guys are doing well. That bluegill is exciting to watch feed because he gets aggressive. He wants the food. But what's going in that big aquarium should hopefully be just epic. All right, so my dad just got home. My help in carrying at least the stand-in. Like I said, that tank is at least 450 pounds with just the sheer fact of the tank. I don't think I've told you guys the size. It's a 220 gallon tank that is going to have one single fish in it. So if you have a good guess, let me know. But right now I got all the supplies just kind of laid out. I had it, everything fit in the back of my car. We got all the covers here, the big UV light, two regular filters, some underwater filters, some gravel substrate, more cords. I think there's more stuff in the car too, but all that's left is we got to take that big stand off the roof and if me and him can get it then we'll put the, we'll put the tank in the house on the stand but i think i've already said it enough i beat this horse to death but the tank is heavy i should have filmed that part but i wasn't exactly focused on filming uh when i picked this tank off of a guy's house from craigslist very nice though that's the place to buy big tanks because these things new were so expensive and i got this whole setup for a really good deal we just got the stand off the car. Stand looks to be in pretty much the same condition we got it in. We're all good. None of the tiles are cracked. Doors are perfectly fine. This light is not broken. We are good to go with the stand. It's hard to believe that something like this can hold, however, like at least a ton and a half of water. I don't know the exact amount, but all it is, it just sits right there. The moment of truth is coming up. We placed our stand inside. The tank is right there. Now we just gotta lift it in which is very clearly and obviously the hardest part. Okay, development in the story. I don't think I was recording right there. We, we figured out a way to shimmy it and he grabbed the corner and then reshifted it. And I was trying to walk backwards and uh, we had it, we got to the stairs and I tried to take a step up. My little chicken leg, my, my left quad was not enough power to step up with all that weight. So we're gonna use some physics. That's what this is, right? And slide it on the boards. We're gonna put it on the boards and then just slide it up and then re how okay How are we gonna re-pick it up though once it's up there? Are we gonna stop once it's like here? Well, well these will tip We're gonna have to get it beyond and get it over the edge which will We're gonna have to squat it up time to the reason I stopped there is because when I was trying to go like this it was literally cutting off my esophagus don't try to carry a 220 gallon tank with two people and slide it okay well that wasn't pretty but it worked that was the hardest part when I got this thing into my car, we had to go down steps, which is incredibly easier than that. Well, probably didn't seem like that much time, but that was 45 minutes from the time we were trying to decide how to get it out to getting it right here. And unfortunately, these steps right here have made this a four person job. We got it as far as we could with two people. The most important thing was getting it out of my car because that right there, I don't know if you guys can tell, not exactly a power lifter. I can't be picking up and squatting almost 250 to 300 pounds a person. I just, neither me or my dad by ourselves can even pick one end up. So, 
there's no way we're both going to be able to pick it up and then carry it. We, we only have like 10 yards to the stand, but unfortunately, this is as far as this tank can go for right now. I don't think it's going to rain. I'm going to try to get it in there ASAP, but for right now, this is as far as it goes because it's a four-person job from here on out. When me and Sam lifted it, we picked it up off the stand, never brought it up, never brought it down, walked it out the house, down one little set of stairs, and right into the back of my car, which is like the same, the same length up off the ground. I don't know. This damn thing is heavy. It is heavy. So now that we got that tank situation pretty handled, all I have to do is bring the accessories inside. Now, none of this is particularly exciting. I'm just gonna bring it inside, but this, I'm gonna give you guys a clue, because I'm actually really interested in, uh, in what you guys are thinking that I'm gonna put in this tank. This is a heater, and I will not need this for what I'm putting in the tank. That's just a little clue. It's a little, a little snippet that I can give you guys, because I'm not gonna tell you yet. All I'm gonna do, I think either tomorrow or the next day, we're gonna get two other guys and we're gonna actually put the tank up on the stand and then I'm just gonna set the filters up. We're gonna fill it with water and we're gonna let the tank cycle so that our new pet does not die when we put it in there. And then within two, three weeks, maybe four, I'm not sure which method I'm gonna to take to cycle the tank, but definitely gonna to try to do it the quickest way possible while also being efficient because I don't want it, the tank to incorrectly cycle. The cycle being like the nitrogen cycle, um, that's, that's very important. And although I am a very new aquarium owner, I have done my research and uh, I've literally just invested a lot of money into a 220 gallon tank. So the last thing I want to do is screw it up. Last thing I want to do is drop the tank. I didn't want me and my dad to either drop the tank or injure ourselves while bringing that tank up. I, I wasn't recording because we were like shuffling back and forth. It was, I, I was more interested in moving the tank than I was filming. But like when we were getting it up on that step, I took one foot up there, tried to lift it up and it wasn't going to happen. Hi mom. My mom's home now, I gotta move this camera. I feel like a child. So what I'm doing right now is pretty much the final step for what I had to do today. Honestly, it went, went very successful. The last day has been pretty crazy handling all this stuff and making sure I didn't break it, making sure it's, it's, it's packed all together because one mistake and there goes a lot of money. So this is the last step. <laughs> Good yes. Just hold it still. Is he got it? I don't know if he This guy makes me never want to eat bluegill again. I never thought a bluegill would be so animated and so fun to have as a pet. So I'm just gonna end the video right here. That bluegill right there, that starter 55 gallon, the little bluegill, it's about not exactly as easy you can get. I'm sure I'm still a very much beginner, but it's bluegills are very easy to keep as pets and they're so, so fun to watch them feed. I've had that guy for, I don't know, maybe near a month now and I'm very excited for the next step. This giant aquarium i'm I, I had this plan a month ago i was looking up on craigslist forever to try to find a tank for a good value because like i said these tanks new are thousands and thousands of dollars and i knew i could if i could find a nice one used on craigslist that would work perfectly this 220 gallon has found a great new loving home and the fish that is going to go in there is it's going to be so awesome i seriously cannot wait that tank cannot cycle fast enough i've already got the fish all lined up like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys that it's going to be the big secret reveal. I'm going to have you guys just guess. So please down below, let me know what you think the fish is that I'm going to be putting in this 220 gallon tank. I'm really interested to see your responses. Other than that, regular fishing videos are going to keep pumping out as normal. It's October. This is the best fishing of the year for a lot of areas of the country. For me, smallmouth, fall smallmouth is one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to be fishing a lot this October and then towards the end of the month, Look out for the video where I reveal what's going in that tank. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me and the channel. This, this travel vlog was interesting for this aquarium, but we got it 90% of the way. It is probably tomorrow gonna be in its new home cycling.